beautiful humans i hope you all are in the best of your health and uh, welcome to the first episode of this series wherein i'll be reviewing certain products but like i don't want to just review products and leave it at that because i am one of those people who do like a lot of research before getting into anything or trying out anything new uh, research gives you knowledge and knowledge is power and i want to share that Uh, so a major part of this video is going to be me blabbering on and on about the data that I've collected, and yes, I've done that using internet, of course, or Wikipedia and other health line websites. So if you are this geeky, nerdy, sciencey person like me who gets high by injecting knowledge into their bloodstreams, then please do continue watching. Or if you just want to hear about the review, then you may of course skip ahead. Okay, let's get high. <laughs> Okay, so as you know from the title, I am going to be reviewing this uh, avocado sheet mask from the Face Shop. But before that, we have to get high on the knowledge of avocados. So let's get started. Um, let's start with the scientific or botanical name of avocados, which is Persia americana, and like they are classified as a member of the flowering family Lauraceae. Okay, so. Avocado is botanically a large berry. <laughs> I didn't know that. Then these are like subtropical species cultivated in the Mediterranean climate and Mexico as you might be knowing is the largest avocado producer. Then these avocados can only partially self-pollinate because of the presence of dicogamy. Dicogamy in like simpler words will be the male and female reproductive parts of a flower mature at different times this is done to like this is naturally present in them to prevent self pollination okay then there's another variety of avocados which is known as toneless avocados uh, they are marketed as cocktail avocados and uh, these by the name are present without the seeds or the pit cannot get any better right <laughs> so like um, scientifically these are produced from unpollinated flowers through the process of pseudo fertilization and everything you might be knowing about the seedless watermelons yeah that's like the same thing right <laughs> okay on to the nutritional information about avocados they are like often referred to as superfoods you'll know why in a moment um they are one of the high fat foods known to humans like approximately 77% of the calories in them come from fats and it's like not just any fat it's mono unsaturated fatty acid present in the form of oleic acid and oleic acid is present uh, also in olives hence all that beneficial effect and everything like oleic acid is generally known to uh, reduce inflammation and um, is also being studied and has been come to the knowledge that they help to reduce or fight cancer oh great uh, and other predominantly present fats in them are palmitic acid and linoleic acid okay then uh, avocados are like loaded with fibers which helps in weight loss and uh, improves overall metabolic health um they also reduce cholesterol and triglyceride levels which directly helps you to fight heart diseases and heart diseases is like one of the major uh, not major the leading cause of death in the world like in the non pandemic days i mean besides being super nutritious themselves they dramatically increase the absorption of other nutritious plant foods that you eat okay they are super high in antioxidants like uh, phytosterols and carotenoids like lutein and zeaxanthin which are like so so super important for your eyes so like directly these help you to prevent cataract and um, reduce the chances of macular degeneration ha huh. studies also show that avocado oil is known to reduce symptoms of osteoarthritis and avocados have higher potassium levels than bananas that is bananas <laughs> and they are also like a super rich source of other b vitamins vitamin k vitamin c vitamin e even copper and 
told you like super food <laughs> Uh, okay, so like avocados are of course not generally toxic to humans, but their leaves, bark, um, skin, or sometimes even the seeds are documented to be harmful to animals. Okay, so like cats, dogs, guinea pigs, birds, rabbits. So if you have pets, I guess be careful. Uh, the fruit is also documented to be poisonous to some birds, and. The whole locha is because these avocado leaves contain a toxic fatty acid derivative called persin, which in like um, sufficient amounts can be very critical. So that was about animals, and in humans, there are two main forms of allergy. Okay, uh, the first is the tree pollen al allergy, and this happens locally in your mouth and throat when you consume an avocado if you have that allergy. The next is uh, second one is the latex fruit syndrome which is re related to the latex allergy and like if someone has it then they might experience abdominal pain and vomiting and it might also be fatal i did not know about this i did not know avocados had a dark side but i guess we all do so just be careful <laughs> okay on to the uses now uh, this is the last part stay with me <laughs> all right uh, so like avocados are an important staple diet for people who have no access or limited access to other fatty foods like um, meat or fish and all that okay then avocados have a very high smoke point compared to the oils that we normally use okay a smoke point is generally the temperature at which your fat or oil will begin to burn emitting a significantly bluish smoke so this is why um, it's kind of expensive this oil is very expensive then um, yeah if you like cut an avocado and leave it exposed to the air it you will notice that it will start to turn brown after some time okay so this is generally because of the enzymatic oxidation reactions that occur so people um, use lime or lemon juice to prevent that then huh. avocados like uh, potatoes are a very versatile and dynamic fruit and potato is a vegetable <laughs> so uh, you know it's used in basically like everything you can pair it with tortillas caesar salads it's also paired with chocolates there is avocado soup then there is this uh, world famous mexican dip guacamole in which avocado is like the base ingredient so like everything it goes with everything then uh, in addition to the fruit avocado leaves Uh, are also used as spices by humans, of course. <laughs> uh, they have a reminiscent flavor of anise, and which is why I guess it adds to the flavor of things, especially in the Asian countries. I guess. All right. So this is all I had to share about avocados. I hope it was helpful to you. And now we will get. We will finally get to the review of the product. <laughs> So I'll just read whatever is uh, given on this package. This is avocado face mask with avocado extract hashtag #moisturizing. Uh, the process mentioned here is natural grinding extraction process where natural plants are ground and blended with a moisturizing water based ingredient to create a natural extract. The natural adhesive mask formulated with tea tree extracts clings tightly to skin to infuse it with essence. Real Nature Avocado Face Mask, the moisturizing and nourishing sheet mask with avocado extract, hydrates and nourishes skin. This has emulsion type essence, and uh, it is formulated without five additives, which are parabens, triethylamine, propylene glycol, tar colorant, and mineral oil, which is great. Then um, um, ingredients mentioned here are water, glycerin, dipropylene glycol. Cyclo pentacyl oxane, penta erythritol, tetra ethyl hexonate, persia gratazema, which is avocado fruit extract, one two hexan ethyl dimethicone, pantenol, panthenol, allotoin, butylene glycol, sodium hyaluronate, methyl glucose sequesterate, acrylates C ten thirty, alkyl acrylate cross polymer, carbomer. 
ट्रोमेथमाइन ट्राइसोडियम ईडीटीए जानथन गम इथाइल हेक्साइल ग्लिसरीन एंड फ्रेग्रेंस ओके दैट वाज अ लॉट ऑफ स्टफ्स एंड आई डोंट नो हाफ अबाउट इट ऑल राइट आई विल जस्ट गो पुट दिस ऑन एंड बी बैक इन अ मोमेंट लो आई नो आई लुक फनी राइट बट दिस इज फीलिंग गुड it it was drenched in the serum and it has a very subtle fragrance and i mean the overall experience is going good see it's so drenched that it's slipping and coming on my lips uh yeah uh, i'll just let it dry i want to go lie down and let it dry because looking at my face is giving me ideas for halloween <laughs> I'll be back after all this is done. All right, see you. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Um, <laughs> if you have stuck till now, then uh, and you know, like I had a very pleasant and um, moisturizing experience with this sheet mask. The thing I particularly liked about it was that it had a very mild, subtle, and you know not at all overwhelming fragrance i personally don't like things that have a very strong and uh, overpowering fragrance so this was like really good for me another thing it had a lot of serum in it and the serum was not watery it was it had a proper gel like consistency so another good point and it took me more than 35 minutes to like dry it out completely so i guess that time thing is like also very great and um, like if you um, don't know this then if you are using a face a sheet mask then i suggest you first cleanse your face with a mild cleanser any face wash uh, and then maybe exfoliate your skin a bit with, with a mild scrub of course because now um, once the dirt and grime is away this serum can actually uh, work on your skin your pores will be able to absorb it very well and um, another thing was like once this sheet mask has dried please do not i repeat do not keep it any longer on your skin because all that the uh, all that your skin has absorbed will be absorbed back into that paper like a mask like that's basic science right also i do feel my skin is feeling very uh, soft and yes moisturized so overall this was a great experience for me ha <sighs> i guess that's all for now uh, i hope this video was informative and it helped you and i also hope you enjoyed this and if you did then please uh, do like share and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on the next video ha huh, take care drink lots of water do what you love and maybe wear a sheet mask tata -ta.